Doug Wright here today, construction manager for Denver Water at the Gross Reservoir Expansion Project. Behind me, you'll see the existing dam where work has started as we raised this dam 131 feet for the dam raise project to increase reservoir capacity at Gross Reservoir. So today, behind me, you'll see uh, the start of hydro demolition work on the dam. We're standing in front of the right abutment on access to one of the galleries that goes through the dam. This demolition is what we're doing to prepare the surface of the dam for the new concrete that will be placed against it as we raise this dam to its new height. The roughened area that you see on the dam behind me is the existing concrete that's 70 years old. And what we've done is we've hydroblasted it. So think of pressure washing your driveway or your deck, the home blaster, maybe 2,000 PSI, and you can still peel the paint off your wood if you're not careful. Here, 20,000 PSI is what it takes to remove the top three inches of the existing concrete. And what that allows is an improved bond with the new concrete that we placed against this surface. This 70-year-old concrete is in fine shape, but it's uh, gone through freeze and thaw through the various weather that it's seen over the years. And so to get the best connection between the old concrete and the new concrete, we roughen the surface. And so that allows the new concrete to behave just as if it was the existing concrete for the new structure. The hydroblasting operation uses a very high pressure water jet that's attached to this machine that's pressing against the face of the dam and robotic nozzle heads are applying that 20,000 PSI pressure across the face of the dam in a pattern to remove that top three inches of concrete. An important part of the process is the material that's removed from the dam cascades down to the bottom of the structure. It'll be removed as we prepare the foundation. The water that comes out of that process does require treatment. So we send it through our water treatment plant that's located at the bottom of the dam. Much of the water is actually recycled back through the system as we hydroblast across the face of the dam. Total area that we're gonna treat is about 200,000 square feet. We're about 1,500 feet through it right now as we developed our process. And it'll be several months of work to get through the entire hydroblasting process. Every surface of the dam that gets new concrete will be treated with this process. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, learning a little about hydroblasting and how to raise a dam. Uh, if you have more questions about the project, feel free to go to grossreservoir.org.